Okay, so moving right along to our next one, abrupt. And we wanted to talk about this one as well. So I'll start us off this time. And then if you want to finish, does that sound good? Yep. Okay, so reading what you wrote for us. When I started working at a university, I was so happy with the fact that I could meet all different people at work and communicate with them in English. They were super nice and tried to help me to get used to working there, except for my boss. Go ahead. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> I was spacing out. I'm not hey, sure don't why. Say, don't admit that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm not sure why, but she is sometimes abrupt with me. I can tell based on the way she talks to me compared to other people. When someone is abroad with somebody, what does that mean? Awesome. Thank you. Appreciate that. <laughs> okay. So we'll go through it real quick together. All right. Yeah. So when I started working at a university, this is fine, um, but it's kind of general. So it's your job. So it's probably at the university, right? When I started working at the university. Right, right. Okay. So otherwise it's just kind of like a generic university somewhere, which is okay. But since you want to be talking about your job, mm -hmm. when I started working at the university. Okay. At the university. Does that make sense? Why? Yeah, it does. Okay. So I was so happy with the fact that I can meet all different people at work and communicate with them in English. Okay. All different. You could just say all different types of people. Mm-hmm. Or you could just leave it as all different people. But if you want to clarify a little bit what you mean, because is this what you mean, right? All different, right, different right. people. Can I say that um, all different walk of life? You could say people from all different walks of life. All oh, from all different walks of mm -hmm. life. Okay. <laughs> so, great question. Yeah. People from all different walks of life. That you could okay. say. Mm -hmm. All walks of life. Okay. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. And then they were super nice and tried to help me get used to working there, except for my boss. So do you mean that everybody except your boss was nice and tried to be yes. helpful? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I think you could even, so you could either have like a comma except for my boss to kind of help mm -hmm. separate that a little bit. Mm -hmm. So you don't necessarily have to, but this is a good way to kind of separate it because when i read this it was not 100 percent clear like that was probably what you meant but just to really clarify things or you could also another option would be except for my boss oops not me <laughs> except for my boss mm -hmm. they were super nice and tried to help me so that and then get rid of it here oh okay, okay. gotcha so that would be another way to do it and what you did is fine so don't worry about that too much but except for my boss, you know, is one way to kind of set her apart from the beginning or uh, at this comma kind of just helps clarify that you're talking about everybody did this except for her. Okay. Okay. And so grammatically, not as much there for that as just to make it clear what you're saying. Okay. Okay. Cool. All right. So, and then I'm not sure why, but she is sometimes abrupt with me. Okay. And I can tell based on the way she talks to me compared to other people. So I like that you gave an example of why. Mm -hmm. And then you say, when somebody is abrupt with somebody, what does that mean? And I know you're, you're setting this up right to help explain what does abrupt mean. So do you want to take a stab at it? Do you want to try? Um, some say, um, someone is abrupt with somebody. Basically, I don't know, they speak rude or like in a kind of unfriendly way yeah no that's a great way to say it when you're abrupt with somebody you're kind of short right okay that, Get snappy yeah it can be a little bit snappy just real short kind of in a like a fast response that's not not super nice like you said necessarily right so if some if you're abrupt with somebody maybe that person might think oh is this person mad at me or something like that okay. it kind of gives that feeling um, and I think part, don't quote me on this, but I think part of where this comes from is you can come to an abrupt stop. Okay. Have you heard this expression before? No, I haven't. All right. So I'm going to say, I'm going to write it down here. Come to an abrupt stop. And I know this is in suggesting mode. So, but this is 
I'm not telling you to add this to your paragraph. I'm just putting it down here for, for your reference. Okay. So I'll, I'll accept that and I'll highlight it for you. Mm -hmm. But basically when you come to an abrupt stop, it means you're coming to a really sudden stop. Oh. Okay. So it's kind of sudden short, right. And in the same line of thinking, if someone is abrupt with you, it's kind of that fast, sudden, just short, gotcha. that similar feeling. Mm, okay. So, Thank you. Yeah, yeah, of course. That's another good phrase to know with abrupt.